Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to find the smallest element in an array in JavaScript. And it's a very important question because it gets asked a lot in interviews. But before we get started, make sure to click on the subscription uh, button below so that you get notified whenever I upload a useful video like that. And also check the description below because I have created a free ebook on how to make money online coding. So let's get started. First of all, suppose that we have this array called uh, array and it has some random numbers and we want to find the smallest number in this array. What we would do is that we need to loop through this array and compare it with some specific number. And that number should be some assumption, uh, just uh, you assume a specific number here and start comparing each element with that number. And uh, you use if statement to determine which one is the, is the smallest. If that element that we are looping through is the smallest, then we are going to change the value of the smallest with that number. So here I'm going to cre create an assumption called uh, smallest, and it's going to be equal to array of uh, array of uh, zero. I'm going to assume that the smallest number is the first number. And by the way, it doesn't matter which one you assume. Just give. Um, just you have to. You have to to uh, create a variable called the smallest or any variable and give your assumption, store your assumption here and then we need to create a for loop to start looping through this array and comparing each number with that smallest number with that with our assumption and when whenever we find something smaller, some number smaller than our assumption we are going to change our assumption with that number. So here we have for loop let uh, i equals to zero and then i smaller than array dot length length and then uh, and then i plus plus and here what we need to do is to use if statement to compare the um, the smallest smallest with the with the array of i with each time we iterate so if that array of i array of i is smaller than is smaller than the smallest we are going to change this smallest value with that array of i uh, value so here suppose that the first iteration will be uh, 12 because we our assumption is that the smallest is the first element which is 12 with the first element uh, the second element, uh, or the first element, sorry, with the, which is 12, is 12 smaller than uh, or greater than 12? Is that true? That is not true. Then we are going to move on to the next iteration, which is 28. Is 28 smaller than um, 12? Is that true? That is not true. Then we are going to move on. The next iteration, 33, is 33 smaller than 12? That is not true. Then we are going to move on to the next iteration which is 8. Is 8 smaller than 12? Is that true? That is true. That's true. Absolutely true. 8 is smaller than 12. Then here at that iteration we are going to store that array of i which is 8 instead of 12. Which means that we are going to change 12 which is which was our assumption with 8. So now the smallest will be 8. So the next iteration will be 8 which is the smallest with the 2. Is 2 smaller than 8? Is that true? That is absolutely true. Then we are going to change the value of the smallest with 2. Then now we changed 8 by 2. So the smallest will be 2. So the next iteration will be 2 compared to 4. Is 4 smaller than 2? Is that true? That's not true. Then we need to move on. So the next iteration is 2 smaller than 99. Is that true? that's absolutely not true then uh, we get out of the loop because the loop uh, finished at this specific point and we looked we loop through the complete array and the smallest will be 2 so here we just use the console dot log to print our value here smallest now if I save and run I'm gonna get 2 which means that our uh, algorithm works well and suppose that you ch you you assume something else Suppose that you assume um, that for that eight is the smallest number. So here I'm going to add uh, three. You assume just uh, eight is the smallest number. If I save and run, 
I'm gonna get also two, which means that it doesn't matter which number you assume. What matters is that you just um, make an assumption and start comparing it with each element of this uh, of this array and change the f the value accordingly. So that's it in this tutorial. And by the way, you can use the math class to determine the smallest number, but in interviews you will not be allowed to 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 do so because they want to see your skills in uh, in uh, algorithms and if you are able to create one. So that's it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. And if you have a specific tutorial in mind, uh, just give your suggestions in the comment section below. And don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.